First of all then, let's look at the guitar. I'm not going to go into massive detail, but I am going to give you a brief overview of the guitar if, you, if you've just started learning. This part at the top is called the headstock with your machine heads. This is the neck, this long bit, and this is the body. On the neck, you've got your metal bits here, which are your frets. Okay, we'll talk about those later. On your body, you've got your pickups, and you've got your bridge, and you've got your controls. Now, let's talk about how, how to actually hold the guitar. Holding the guitar. Now, what you'll notice, the way I hold my guitar, is the head is higher than the body, just like it is on a person. Um, the reason for that, I teach a lot of people guitar, and quite often they'll come to me. The guitar is somewhere down here, and they're wondering why they can't reach it and they're struggling to play. Okay? To make it comfortable for you, and to make sure that you get the least amount of um, tension in your wrists, it's best to keep the guitar in this kind of position. Personally, I use a footstool when I play. Um, that's to keep it in a good position and it helps to support my back. Um, so now let's look at the way you hold it with your left hand. What I often get my students to do is to make a circle like this with their fingers. Then put that onto the guitar so your thumb and your finger are in the middle of the, of the guitar. Like this. Okay, so the reason I do that is to demonstrate how to hold it. Now, a lot of people, they'll come and they'll start holding the guitar again like this, with their thumb right over the top, or they'll have their thumb in some strange position like this, or the reason to do it is that way you can pivot your hand. So if you get your thumb in your forefinger, create a circle, and then you can pivot your hand. And your wrist should be fairly forward when you play to allow for maximum stretch and also to keep your hand free and easy to move around. Because if your thumb's up here or here or somewhere, it's very difficult to do that. So you want to keep your thumb somewhere around the back. Now we're going to look at how to hold your plectrum. So take your plectrum in your left hand, or your right if you're playing left-handed, and put your thumb at the back of it at a 90 degree angle, and then just take it with your first finger. So that's how your plectrum should look. Okay. We'll zoom in on that so you can see what I mean. So again, take it with my left hand, put my thumb in the back, and just take it so that there's a triangle sticking out. Okay. That's the easiest way to play. If you're that's with picking and solos and rhythm, that kind of thing. If you're gonna do um, chords and strumming, you wanna take your guitar and just have a much more relaxed grip on the plectrum because it's the way you're going to play it is going to be more relaxed and you want more of your plectrum out so that you can play across all the strings. Tuning your guitar. Now, standard tuning on a guitar, your strings should be tuned, and I'm going to go from the thin string first, the high string, to E, B, G, D, way to remember that is Easter Bunny gets drunk at Easter. So what I'm going to do now, the first thing you always want to do before you play guitar is tune up. Because if you're not in tune, no matter how good you play, you're going to sound bad. Okay? So let's get in tune. So tune your guitar to me. I'll give you a high E. B. G D A and E I would recommend getting a tuner, it makes it a hell of a lot easier to tune your guitar if you've got a tuner there. Now we're going to look at 
how to thread your nose. So I'm gonna just zoom in for you. Okay, you'll see my finger is literally just behind the fret. You don't want to put your finger on top of the fret because you'll get that sort of note. You don't want to put it too far back. You don't want it too close. So you want it just in the middle or just towards the fret. Okay. Um, you don't want to push your guitar too hard, the note too hard, because otherwise. change the pitch and you don't want to do it so light that, that you don't get a note so you just want to relax your hand and push down until you get the right sound um, some guitars will be more difficult than others for example Spanish guitars can be harder to play but with the electric it should be pretty should be pretty easy to, to throw a note there okay now we're going to look at picking and how to pick. Okay, picking. So you've got your plectrum on your string. We're going to look at first what's called alternate picking. This involves up and down. So down and up. Okay. The important thing to remember here is to start slowly. So down. And you don't want to pick too hard, so you don't want to be and you don't want to be so light that you can't hear. You want to get a nice tone. Okay. Then we'll look at strumming. Okay, so you'll learn some chords later, but take your pick and have a lot more of your pick out. So you've got more on show, and you're strumming. at once and the same on the way up okay now we're going to look at a very basic exercise to get you used to picking and fretting at the same time okay so it's a simple chromatic exercise, and chromatic simply means it's going up one fret at a time. So, on your high E string, your high E string, okay, I want you to play the first fret. So your finger just behind the fret. And that's with your first finger. Okay, so just behind the fret. Then you use your second finger onto the second fret and pick it at the same time. And use your third finger on the third fret and pick it at the same time. And then lastly, use your fourth finger, your little finger, on the fourth fret and pick it at the same time. Okay, so at normal speed that will sound like this. And remember to use up and down picking. Down, up, down, up. So nice and slow. Now what's important here is getting the pick and the left hand working at the same time. A lot of the time I hear things like this. That's not, that's not right because it doesn't sound smooth and if you start playing that way you're going to learn bad habits. So you want to learn good habits from the word go. So, the first advice I can give you as a, as a learning guitar is always play slowly and get it right. Don't worry about speed. If you pick up good habits now, later on you're going to be able to play faster anyway. That's naturally going to happen, but you want to make sure you're playing clean. It's much more important to sound good than to sound fast and sloppy. Okay? So, so, go up and down. And then backwards. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. And keep your picking alternate picking at all times. So that's your first exercise. Just practice that for five minutes until you've got that nice and smooth 
and you've memorised that, okay? Okay, now I'm going to explain something which I've been do I do myself. Um, when you're practising exercises, it's very easy to get distracted. So, you start off playing an exercise. After doing that a few times, you start getting bored and just start... Just going around and messing about on the guitar. So what, what I've done is, I focus on something for two minutes at a time. Now two minutes may not sound much, but when you time yourself, two minutes continually focusing on an exercise, you will improve. Okay? So even if you've only got ten minutes a day to practice, that gives you five lots of two minutes. So pick the exercises which you find the most difficult. Always start on the stuff you find the most difficult, because that will improve your playing. So, think of the exercise you find difficult, practice it for two minutes continuously before moving on to the next exercise. Obviously you can do longer than that, but to focus on it for two minutes at a time, you will find that you improve. Okay. So, let's look at then your first proper exercise. This is going to be a chromatic exercise again, but we're going to go all the way up to fret 13 on the guitar. So I'll play it first, and then I'll show you how it works. Okay, so that's the exercise. I want to play that on every single string, but I'm going to break it down now so you can see how it works. So first of all, you play the same as you did with, with a second ago when you were learning the um, syncing up the left hand and right hand. So, frets 1, 2 and 3, 4 with fingers 1, 2, 3 and 4. Then you slide up with the little finger to fret 5. And you come down. 4, 3, 2, 1. Then you slide up with your first finger to the third fret. Then you slide up with your little finger. Backwards. So four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, etc. Now what's important is that you play this exercise on every single string because if you neglect a string you'll find that you become really good at playing a certain string. But guitar's got six strings, you need to be good at playing six strings. So... You need to play it on every single string, all the way up and all the way back. Okay, so that's your first exercise. Focus on that for two to five minutes and then move on to the next exercise. Okay, exercise number two. Again, it's another chromatic exercise. However, instead of going from the head up the neck on one foot at a time, you're going to go across the strings and then you're going to move up and down. And I'll show you how that works. So the fingering is the same, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, etc. Um, but I'll, I'll go through that now and show you the exercise and I'll break it down. <laughs> Starting on the low E string, and we're going to go fret 1, 2, 3, 4 with fingers 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we move on to the A string, do exactly the same pattern. Then we move on to the D string, exactly the same pattern. Then on to the G string, same pattern. 
then onto the B string, same pattern, then onto the E string, same pattern. Okay, so then we, all we do is move up the, the, the frets one at a time, so then we start So you're starting on the 4th finger, 4, 3, 2, 1 on the E string, then on the B string, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4,
little finger on the fifth fret of the same string, first finger on the second fret of the D string, third finger on the third fret of the D string, little finger on the fifth fret of the same string, first finger on the second fret of the G string, third finger on the fourth fret of the G string, and then little finger on the fifth fret. So. so backwards, little finger, fifth fret, G string, third finger, fourth fret on the G string, first finger, second fret on the G string, little finger, fourth finger on the fifth fret of the D string, second finger on the third fret of the D string, first finger on the second fret of the D string, little finger, fourth finger on the fifth fret of the A string, and lastly second finger on the third fret of the A string. Uh, please make sure that you use the correct fingerings. Um, Again, a lot of people have practiced, they'll go like... Or some bizarre combination. Again, the reason you want to keep your fingers in a position is because it allows you to use your other fingers around the fretboard. Whereas if you were just using the same finger all the time, you're not getting the right level of practice and you're not you're creating the brain memory that you need to do and your muscle memory for your fingers to just fall naturally into place. Okay, let's have a look at some chords then. The first chord I'm going to show you is probably one of the easiest chords to play, which is an E minor chord. So, all you need here is two fingers. There's two. Your second finger goes on the second fret of the A string here. And your third finger goes just underneath it on the D string on the 2nd fret, then you just play the, all of the 6 strings, okay. now the important thing when you're playing chords is to make sure you're using the tips of your fingers, again a lot of people come to and they'll play like that, and they'll get a sound like that, because the fleshy parts here will mute the strings if you're not careful. So you need to make sure that you're really using the tips. Okay. So practice that one for a few minutes. Practice taking your hand off, putting it on. Okay. The next chord is one that will take a bit of practice. Three fingers. So your first finger, this is your C major chord. Your first finger goes on the first fret of the B string. Your second finger goes on the second fret on the D string. And your third finger goes on the third fret on the A string. Okay. So those are, th are the three notes that you're actually holding down. C, E, and C. Again, make sure that you're using the tips and make sure that the fleshy parts of your finger aren't, aren't muting the other strings. This time though, you only play the five strings. You play the E, so the high E, the B string, the G string, the D string, and the A string. Practice going from the E minor to the C. Okay, your next chord that I'm going to teach you is D major. Okay, so this time use your middle finger on the second fret on the high E string. Your third finger will go on the third fret on the B string, and your first finger come over the top and play the 2nd fret on the G string, okay. however this time you only play the 4 strings, so you play 
E string, B string, G string, and D string. Okay, next chord is A major. Now there's a few, a couple of different ways to play this, but the, the, the three notes you're going to fret will be second fret on the B string, second fret on the G string, and second fret on the D string. Now if you've got fairly thin fingers, you can fret them one on top of the other. So third fret on the B string, second, sorry, third finger on the second fret on the B string. Middle finger on the second fret, and the first finger on the second fret on the D string. Again, this time you play the five strings, so E, B, G, D, and A. Now, if you've got slightly wider fingers, you can swap these two fingers round. Gives you a little bit of space. So you're going to play the second finger on the second fret on the D string. Your first finger will go on the second fret on the G string, and your third finger will go underneath on the B string. Okay, next chord we're going to look at is G major. So here you have your middle finger on the third fret on the low E string. Have your first finger on the second fret on the A string, and then your third finger will go on the third fret on the high E string, and then you play all six strings. Okay, next up, we're going to look at E major. So it's very similar to the first chord you play, the E minor. So your middle finger, second fret. Your third finger, second fret on the D string. But your first finger this time goes on the first fret on the G string. Once again, make sure you're using the tips of your fingers so you're not getting a sort of sound. Okay. Next we're going to look at A minor. So this time you get your first finger on the first fret on the B string. Then you've got your third finger on the second fret on the G string. And then your middle finger on the second fret on the D string. This time you play only five strings. So you don't play the bottom E string. Now we're going to play a D minor. Okay. So first finger, first fret on the high E string. Third finger comes across to the third fret on the B string, and middle finger comes to the second fret on the G string, and this time you only play the high four strings. So you've, we've covered E minor. C major, D major, A major, G major, E major, A minor, and D minor. Okay, so practice going through those individually and practice interchanging between the different chords. Okay, now what we're going to do with those chords that we've just learned, we're going to pick them, but we're going to pick them one note at a time. This is called 
an arpeggio. When you play a chord one note at a time, it's called an arpeggio. So what we're going to start off with is the E minor chord, the first chord that we learn. So we've got your middle finger on the second fret of the A string, and your third finger on the second fret of the D string. Okay, but what we can do, we're going to pick the strings one at a time, and we're going to go through all six strings. So down strokes on the way down. Then we're going to use up strokes to come back up. However, we start on the A string with the C chord, we don't play the low E string, so... We do the same thing with the, D, with the D chord, but we start on the D string, we don't play the low, the two low strings. Major. We start on the A string, we don't play the low E string. Then we move on to the G major. This time we play all six strings. chord and this time again play all six strings then we move on to the A minor but this time we start on the A string We start on the D string, we don't play the two low strings. So again, practice that. Practice your chords, your strumming and your arpeggios. Um, now we're going to look at some actual strumming patterns that you can do with your chords. Okay. So, we'll just use the E minor for now. And what we're going to do, we're just going to go down and up. When you're, when you're strumming like this, you need to make sure that everything is relaxed. So your shoulders are relaxed, your wrist is relaxed, your hand is relaxed, but not so relaxed that you drop your plectrum. Again, you want to keep your plectrum so there's quite a bit of it out and it's more relaxed than when you're doing your picking exercises. <laughs> do a different um, picking pattern. So we're going to start with up strokes. Okay. Now this one, we're going to miss off the third strum in each one. So it's going to go two, miss. still make the movement as if we're going to hit the strings, but we move our hand away and not hit the strings because you don't always just want to play every single note. So sometimes you want to miss out some of the some of your strums. This time we're going to do a different pattern. We're going to miss out the fourth one, so we're going to play three and then miss the fourth. Now, there's no right or wrong pattern, you can just strum any pattern that you like. It's a good idea to practice at different speeds and with, with all of these different chords. Maybe, you know, go from four in your E minor to C. miss out the one when you're going to change. Okay, so just keep practicing.
practicing all the different um, strumming patterns, learning the fretboard. Okay, so now you've got some chords and you've got some exercises, you need to actually know the notes that you're playing on the guitar. Now the easiest way to explain is that you've only got a limited number of notes that you can play. So you've got A, A sharp, now A sharp is also the same as B flat, then you've got B, then you've got C, then you've got C sharp, C sharp is the same as D flat, then you go to D, D sharp, D sharp is the same as E flat, E, F, F sharp, F sharp is the same as um, G flat, G, G sharp, G sharp is the same as A flat, and then you finally get back to A. So you go from A to A. That's called an octave because it's the whole range of notes. Now every string, although they've got different names, has the same combination of notes. For example, if we take the high E string, if we go to the A, which is on the 5th fret, it's going to go A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, B, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Okay. On B, if we go to the A, on the B string, A, B, sorry, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, B, D sharp, B, G, G sharp A. Now the way to work it out is there's no sharp or flat between B and C and E and F. Every other note has a sharp and a flat. So for example there's no sharp between E and F. So if we take the high E string it's going to go E. The next note is going to be an F because there's no sharp. The next note will be an F sharp. The next note will be a G, then we go to G sharp, then we go to A, then we go to A sharp, then we go to B. Now because there's no sharp between B and C, we go straight to C. Then we go to C sharp, then we go to D. Then we go to D sharp, then we go back to E. And the next note is just start from F again. Okay, it's the same on all strings. So if you pick any string and you can work out what it is. So if we say, for example, the G string, and we want to know what's on the sixth fret, all we need to do is count up in that pattern. So it's going to go G. G sharp, A, A sharp, B, now there's no sharp or flat between B and C, so go straight to C, then it goes to C sharp, so that's the sixth fret. If you want to find a C sharp, for example, on the A string, all we do is count up, so A, A sharp, B, no sharp here, straight to C, then we go to C sharp. So it's the fourth fret. Okay. If we want to say find an F sharp on the B string, so we're going to go B, no sharp here, straight to C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Now there's no sharp between E and F, remember, so straight to F, and then the F sharp on the 7th fret. Okay, so now that you, I've given you a breakdown of how the fretboard works, what I think you should do is, in your practice sessions, you want to cover warm-up with all your picking exercises, so your chromatic exercises, your scales, so your blue scale and your major scale. Then you want to make sure that you're always playing slowly and accurately. Again, there's no point rushing it and making a hash of it. It's much better to go nice and slowly 
and get it right. One thing I always recommend to my students is to get a metronome. A uh, metronome is this little wooden device, you can get electronic ones as well. Um, all you do with these is you set a tempo that you want to play at and it will give you a click. And you can practice along to the click, so if you want it faster. If you want it slower. It's worth getting one of those purely because if you don't practice with a metronome, then you can not be as, you're not as accurate as if you are because you're practicing to a beat. And also, the, the benefit of practicing with the metronome is you can very slowly build up your speed. So you can practice at a nice slow speed, move it up a little bit. When you've mastered it at the new tempo, whatever you're playing, move it up a little bit more. And just keep on moving it up until you, 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 until you're playing at a speed that you're, you're happy with. So get yourself a metronome. You can find a metronome online. Um, at the moment, I think it's metronomeonline.com. It's nothing to do with me. I don't endorse that website, but I know that it was at the time that I'm making this video, it is available and it's free of charge. So if you've got a PC with speakers, you can use that and save yourself 20 quid. Um, the next thing I say is don't give up. You know, if guitar was easy, everybody in the world would play it. A lot of people think it's going to be easy and they delude themselves and think within three or four months they're going to be playing Joe Satriani or Steve I solos. It doesn't work like that. You need to start slowly and set long-term goals and break it down. So within three months I want to be able to play a scale at this speed and these chords without any, um, you know, nice and smoothly. So set yourself small goals but ones that you can achieve rather than set yourself a massive objective in three months and don't hit it and then get frustrated and give it up.